Hello, my lovelies. I'm Jenny O, the author with no last name. And it's time for another edition of Let's Play Big Farm Story. And this is a special edition because it is spooky time! And Big Farm Story has their own spooky event called Shiver Night. And if you notice, my avatar looks a little different today because the only way for me to play Shiver Knight is on my online account. We have been playing in the um, offline mode. So but this is my online farm. And I have bought some of the extra um, DLC here it's for the Victorian uh, farmhouse. And the and it comes with this nice spooky tree and a cute little ghost kitty along with a few other um <laughs> pretty spooky decorations like that like the jack o' lanterns there in the wheelbarrow and we've got this big jack-o'-lantern guy over here near the entrance of the carpenter's homestead. So what I've got here, I've done some pumpkins, I have some wheat growing, some corn, and some potatoes. So we're all set for, hopefully if we need anything, we're all set for sh shiver night. All right, so it says we need to talk to Mayor Connor. Let's go to town and talk to Mayor Connor and get this shiver night started. You might remember during part of the playthrough earlier, during the story playthrough, we cleaned up an area called Chestnut Grove. So that's actually the event area. So I'm kind of surprised that they're not letting us do the events in the offline version. So, um, what it is, what it is. Oh, Mayor Connor. Hey! Well, hello there. Can I help you? About the <gasps> event. Are you excited, Ginny? Excited? For what, exactly? <sighs> For Shiver Night, of course. This event always sends the whole town into a frenzy. It's the spookiest time of year, after all. But you can't have a proper Shiver Night celebration without some preparations beforehand. I'm sure you'll be a dear and help us all out, right? Of course. Do I have a choice? Or only because I'm excited for Shiver Night as well. I'm excited for Shiver Night? I like Shiver Night! Ah! Yes, that's the spirit! Well, first of all, our awesome sweet chestnut tree needs to be decorated. Ah. The shepherds are handling, as they always do for a shiver night. Second of all, food needs to be made. That's always my favorite part. <laughs> uh -huh. Claire is the one behind the buffet. And last but not least, seating and decorations. Uh -huh. The carpenters could definitely use your help there. Wow, that's quite a lot of stuff to do. I better go ask what they need. As always, you are a role model for the community. Thanks! So, we need to talk to Lydia, talk to Claire, talk to Owen, and we have to do three things to help with the preparation to get another Shiver Night tree that I don't need, but a cart full of eeriness and another jack o' lantern tower. I'm, uh, Make sure to show you the inside of my house, too. Let's talk to Claire. What does Claire need? <coughs> Salute! How are you today? The... Uh, well, first of all, she wanted some parsley nips, I believe. So here you are. Oh! Mendefique! Alright, now about the preparation. <gasps> Jenny, thank goodness you're here. Did something happen, Claire? Oh, I've been working to make sure this buffet is perfect, but I'm failing most miserably, Jenny. Mm. My potato cakes ruined. What happened? Mm. Shady pounced on them when I wasn't paying attention for a moment. Why was Shady pouncing on the potato? With all the other food, I no longer have time to prepare enough potato cakes. 
No worries, I'll help you. That would be magnifique! Hmm. Oh, but could you also bring me some fish before that? Fish? Do you plan to add this to any of the Sugar Knight delicacies? None! Of course not! I want to use it to make Shady a peace offering or just distract her from the buffet. <laughs> Great idea! Okay, first fish, then potato cakes. I'm on it. Parfait! You make me really happy! So, she wants six rainbow trout. So let's see if we have six rainbow trout, and if we don't, where we're going to be running off to uh, get them. Fish, fishy fish. Fishy fish. Uh, R. That's the goldfish. That's the loose. That's the puffer fish. What am I missing? That's a mackerel. I must be missing. Hmm. I thought I caught everything at least once. The rainbow trout. Okay, we have 25 rainbow trout. So we're, we're good. Okay, Claire, you can have the, the uh, rainbow trout. Do you have the fish? Shady is yet again sneaking around here. Yes. Here, hopefully we'll get Shady satisfied with it until the celebration starts. Oh. Merci beaucoup. You're a lifesaver. Next, the potato cakes, right? Or was there a change of plan? Mm -hmm. Oui, exactly. If you take care about the potato pancakes, or potato cakes, and I can finish the other dippers. Already on my way. Alright. So she needs potato cake times two. Well, let's go talk to hmm. Lydia. Is Lydia here, or where is Lydia? Do we have to... Oh, no. So, remember, this is the Chestnut Grove, so this is where the event's going to be. And as you can see, it's a little messy. We've got some grass, and we've got some wood, but and <laughs> some mushrooms. But apparently Lydia's still at her farm. Nobody here's got the lights going yet. Alright, but probably there's somebody on the way to the farm we need to talk to. Aha, we need to talk to Owen. He should be on the way to the farm. Hmm, Shady trying to get in there with all the... All the food. Hey! Ginny, great to see you. Can I help you? Ghostly Fairground. Oh, and I've come to see if you guys need any help. Mm. Isn't that nice of you, Ginny? Well, you know, some rowdy celebrations can get, especially with the kids playing everywhere and people dancing. <laughs> Things get broken every time. I always tell Amelia part of the fun is trying to guess what we'll have to fix next. <laughs> to be fair, Dad, you're usually responsible for a fair amount of damage on Shiver Night. Well, that's not a nice thing for you to say, Benny. You surprise people and they get scared and end up accidentally bumping into something. Mm -hmm. Huh, is that so, says Owen? I wouldn't know anything about that. Sure. In any case, Jenny, could you get me some wooden planks? Mm -hmm. I'm running out. I'll get on that right away, Owen. But he needs wooden planks. Do we have to make him the house? Let's go talk to Lily. <laughs> Oh, there she is. Ah! Hello, is there anything I can do for you? Yes. Shiver night, shiver night, says Levi. Ah. Are you as pumped as I am, Ginny? I am? <laughs> it's so cool, right? Sure it is. Levi. Levi, please give Ginny some space, says Lydia. My apologies. Shiver Knight gets him even more electrified than usual. It's no problem. I actually came here to help out with the sweet chestnut tree. <gasps> oh, well, that's wonderful! But before we decorate the sweet chestnut tree, there's another problem that needs solving. Uh-oh. The tradition demands this whole place needs to be decorated with torches. It doesn't feel like Shiver Knight without them. So, do you need me to set up the torches? Mm. Jacob says, 
I'm the one who does that. Hmm. But we could use some more cotton. We need a lot of it for the torch ricks. All right, that's easy enough. So we can go give Jacob some cotton. I'm pretty sure I have enough cotton. Hey. So here you mm -hmm. go. Do you have the cotton for the torch ricks? Yes, I do. Here you go. Thank you. I appreciate it. This will keep the torches burning all night. Shiver night has never been my sort of event, but I don't mind helping the other folk around. Hannah and Levi seem to enjoy it a lot. Mm. Indeed. You should talk to my daughter about what else needs to be done. Okay, Lydia. What else do you guys need, Lydia? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, now comes the most fun part. Ah. Isn't that right, Hannah? <laughs> yes, I love decorating the trees, says Hannah. <laughs> Ha, I know you do, says Lydia. Look, Ginny, there's only one decoration missing, though it's very important. Could you get us a few pumpkins? Shiver Knight is nothing without carved pumpkins, but we still need a few for everyone to use. Of course, pumpkins are important. So Jacob needed cotton, and now Lydia needs pumpkins. I don't know if I have four extra pumpkins. Oh, uh. Um... Mm -hmm. Yes, I have 13 pumpkins already, so... We, we still have eight pumpkins to, you know, to get at the garden, so we're good on pumpkins. Ah. Excellent! Thank you so much. Would you mind helping us with another thing? I believe Hannah needed something. Okay. Hi, Hannah. What can I help you with? Mm. We're all out of paint. I've only drawn on half of the ornaments so far. Oi. We can't have a half-painted shiver night. You're right. That would be ridiculous. I'll get some paint for you, okay? All right. So, Hannah wants paint, and we need some boards. Now, we so once again we have we have a Victorian big barn. We also have a Victorian windmill, so we should take a look at that. And I love how this little ghost kitty is transparent, and he like has a sparkly trail. As he follows you around, he's a little slow than slower than most of the kitties. But here we have a Victorian type windmill with like clock arms on the on the windmill arms. Just so it's really kind of pretty. Alrighty, so let's. I put out my scarecrow. Go in here. So this is the Shiver Knight. Uh. <laughs> Decorations! So I have bought a bunch of DLC, so and I put in some of the Shiver Knight decorations and then kept some of the other used some of the other decorations from other sets too. But the Shiver Knight decorations come with well, like these little dolls from the shining. We've got some candles and some candelabras and you can Oh, I didn't put the bats up. Well you can put the bats up over here on the uh wall here so you can put some bats flying around and then um i like this black one but there is a special furniture for that so this is a the one that's actually supposed to be there i like the black one better i don't know that's just me um and then over here I put our jack-o'-lantern stack and I have put in the eerie windows so the eerie window here in the kitchen and over here in the, uh, in the, the mark making room so we need some boards how many boards do we need? Hannah needs paint so we need five wooden planks and I don't know how many I have but we can probably make five wooden planks and you make two at a time so you will actually be making six wooden planks but that's okay there's you can always use wooden planks for something else and then hannah needs to paint and remember this is my online account count so yes i've bought everything that you can buy um for the basic stuff i have not bought every single furniture crafting thing here um so the paint requires like blueberries, dandelions, and marigolds, which I don't know why requires that. You would think it would require some eggs or something and some chalk, but no, 
This requires marigolds, dandelions, and blueberries. <laughs> so here, so we have five, two paints, five boards, and she needs two potato cakes. So let's see if we have enough for to make potato cakes. If I can remember which one has the potato cake recipe see in the stove. Uh, that's mashed potatoes. Oh, huh. we have to make them in the oven. You can't be making them in the there's filled potatoes. Potato cakes require apple compote. We need so we need to go make two apple compote. So this is why it's going to take a couple in-game days to do this, because we always forget about this. So we can make two apple compote, and we're lucky I have cinnamon, which I think you can buy cinnamon at the store, but, um, alright. So that's gonna take a one day, so, you know, I will have to sleep on that. So let's go do our deliveries. Deliveries! Yes. We love deliveries. But I do have the apple trees fertilized to make us some more apples. I have a lot more fertilizer on this account than I did on the other one. <laughs> Alright, Hannah, we have made your paint. Do you have my paint? Yes, you have your paint. You can relax now. Thank you. You're the best. Could you go check with Levi? He's going to be looking for something and might need some help. He makes a big secret out of it, but I bet you can get something out of him. Okay. Alright, Levi, what should, what hey. should you need? Hi! Hey, Levi, what are you looking for? Mm -hmm. Flowers. Flowers for you? Mm -hmm. Oh, silly, for Hannah. Lydia told her she can decorate the tree with some flowers this year. Mm -hmm. She's a lot of daisies. She's trying to act like she doesn't care, but she seems bummed out. Can you get some? I want to surprise her. She'll be so happy. That's really nice of you, Levi. I'll be back with the daisies. I have a full thing of daisies. He wants ten of them. Hey. And that's good, because huh? I have sixty of them. You can have ten of them. Thank you! I'll be sure to tell you, you were a great help. The others are done with the preparations. Let's meet at the Chestnut Meadow so we can decorate. Alright, so Levi needed that. But we're still, we can't go to the, he, he wants us to go to the Chestnut Meadow. But we're not done yet with the uh, potato cakes. Or the, or with what the carpenters want. <laughs> Everybody wants something. Alright. Hurry up, kitty! Hey. All right. mm -hmm. Do you have my planks? Yes, here you are, as ordered. Mm -hmm. Ah, perfect. Sugar night is wonderful, but we sure need sturdy tables and benches for it. <laughs> With all the scares going on, don't look at me like that. Benny was just talking nonsense. Anyway, thanks, Jenny. Hey. Amelia, my dear, you wanted to ask Jenny for a bit of help as well, right? <laughs> what do you need, Amelia? Hey. Jenny, how sweet of you to help us here. Benny and Owen always came up to fix things. Oh. Sam couldn't care less about decorating the tables. Mm. I end up working all alone. That's terrible, Amelia. Uh -huh. I know. But forcing Sam to work with me might be worse. We wouldn't agree on anything. I'm almost done here, but I need more blanks. Mm. They're like a canvas for the rest of the decoration. I'll get them for you. What would an artist be without a canvas? Okay. So she she needs blankets. And see? There's a lot of daisies hanging around because I haven't Okay. Because I haven't been able to pick up daisies. Daisies is one of those things once you once you fill them up, the only thing you can kinda of do is sell them and they don't sell for very much either. So let's make some blankets. Oops, I forgot to look at how many she needed. 
Amelia needs two blankets. One and two. Two. That's wool from our sheep. Bah. Alright. They don't really ask for a lot, you know. So that's good. The event goes all month. It starts at the 1st of October and goes to end of October, 1st of November there. And so that gives you a whole bunch of time to do it. Um, hmm. Good day, Ginny! It's always a pleasure to see you, my dear. Hmm? Do you have the blankets? They'll highlight the decoration. I have everything uh -huh. with me. That's great, Ginny. Could you do me one last favor and check up on Sam? Mm. She seems restless. I'm afraid she's plotting something. She scared Benny enough for one day. I'll go talk to her. <laughs> well, I don't know who needs scaring, Benny or Owen. Ha! Ah. Hey, what are you up to? Is everything all right, Sam? Are you working on another plan to scan fear, <laughs> Benny? <laughs> no, you'd be expecting it, so I'll give him some time to be more surprised the next time I scare him. Nope! I'm preparing for the sound boxes for Shiver Night, but don't tell the others. <laughs> no one knows, and everyone is always wondering about the scary sounds they hear on the meadow. I'd like to keep it a secret, but I need your help. Hmm. I could use some iron parts to get finished with the setup. I can get you iron parts. No worry. Mm -hmm. You'll help me make sure Shiver Knight truly deserves its title. What's the point if it's not scary, right? Hmm. And now, get out of here before any of the others come over to us. <laughs> ah. Let's not be scared. Let's make sure it's scary. Alright. And the kitty's like, why do you keep coming home? Because they keep having us move around. So small iron parts. I only need one iron for them for each, so just grabbed up three of them. Oh, I already have two. Hmm, why did I have two? Always a good question. Yes. So Sam, so she can make things sound spooky. Spooky dookie. Woo! So I've been working on like uh, Electra Swing Halloween mix. Always fun. Hey! Of course, Grim Grinning Ghosts and Spooky Scary Skeletons seem to be one of the most covered <laughs> tracks for s <laughs> in Swing. Alright. Hmm? Shh! Do you have the iron parts? Viola! <laughs> mm -hmm. Awesome! Thanks, Ginny! Now go and meet the others at the Chestnut Meadow to set everything up, okay? I'll follow. Sure. But it's only seven o'clock. I guess they assume you're, you're going to have some apple compote ready. I don't know. I tend not to. Alright, let's... Oh, everybody's sitting down to fall asleep, so we got our alpaca. Our sheep. And I've got three cows. I don't know why I have three cows, but I have three cows on this account. I might have been trying to make a bunch of blueberry yogurt or something. Cows are like, we're sleeping! No, wrong cow. Oh no, black cow. There we go. And there's supposed to be like three or four different variations of the cows. And if you see, I have a black and white cow, a black cow, and a brown and a white cow. That's kind of neat. Of course, it's kind of weird how you, you stand inside them. <laughs> Alright. We should be able to get some sleep now. All the lights are on. Chickens. Uh, I don't 
don't know if I've ever gotten a, a different color chicken or not. But if you want to get um, money at the shepherds, you gotta raise the animals and sell them back. Alright, let's get some sleep. Wee! Falling asleep. Didn't make much money today. Alright. So, because I have the little pet set, the pet will come over here and it will um, get some water or some food first thing in the morning, which is kind of cute. Um, let's... So our compo is done at the preservation shelf. I I made that. So we can now make some potato cakes in the oven. So I'm glad that I remembered to put in some potatoes. There we go. So we need apple compote, bunching onions, which you can grow up on the mountain, and potatoes. There we go. See, that's how fast it is. <laughs> and the kitty really likes that feeding station. It's a new morning, and it's raining! Oh good, it's raining. I don't have to worry about um, watering everything. So. See, we have potatoes, and the corn is growing. Potato potatoes are done. Ambience. That's what it is. <laughs> Catch up, ghost kitty. Come on. Come on. Going to town. All right, Claire, I have your potato cakes. Hey! Bonjour! How was my favorite chef today? Hmm? How was the baking going? Are the potato cakes done? Yep. Oh! Splend! That smell is magnifique. I'm sorry to ask for your help, but could you stop by Matilda's? Mm -hmm. She hasn't let me know about the beverages yet. I'm worried something went wrong. Okay, you continue to make your miraculous delicacies, and I'll see if I can help Matilda. Oh, Matilda! What's going on here? Oh, hey. Hello, sweetie! It's so nice that you come visit me. Hey, Matilda! What are you looking at? Ooh. Is that a magnifying glass? Hmm. Ugh, gosh, Jenny, you sure know how to sneak up on someone. You got me this time, but you're not the only one that can play that game. Um, I wasn't... Anyway, since you're here already, can you please help me with the apple cider? My glasses seem to be smudged. I can't make out the ingredients in the recipe. Uh, I guess your glasses are fine, but the text is actually smeared. I can't read it either. <laughs> oh darn, that's right. At some point, I should really rewrite it. No time for that now. I've already lost too much time searching for the magnifying glass. Jenny, can you please get me some apple cider? <laughs> it won't be my special recipe then, but I bet you can make nice apple cider too. Okay, yeah, I can help you with that. Such a dear. Then I'll get the rest of the drinks prepared. So, just so we are clear on our differences between American cider and um, <laughs> European cider, American cider doesn't have any alcohol in it, where European cider is the alcoholic version. So we have what we call cider is the kind of like the unprocessed, cloudy juice stuff that is manna from heaven. My grandfather used to make it with an old wine press. Um, and yes, if you do let it sit there long enough, it will become buzzy like bees and you know, be alcoholic. But in, I guess in Europe, you have you, will, you you have cider, and then you call that what we call cider something else. And then, of course, we all know what apple juice is, which is, you know, apples, juiced, gotta filter it. You know, might it probably is pasteurized. So anyway, that is the difference. <laughs> so just do you know they they probably mean the non-alcoholic version in this, but I can't be sure because it's not a studio out out of America. But I should have some apple cider to hand. Oh. So we have. <laughs> you couldn't sneak up on me this time. Do you have the apple cider? Yes, I have lots of apple cider. 
But I didn't try to. Mm, yeah. The apple cider looks tasty. Thank you so much, Ginny. All the other drinks are all ready with Claire. She wants you to go to Chestnut Meadow to help her set everything up there. Well, that one's kind of short. Probably because... <laughs> probably because she'd have to make the compote overnight. So we can go to the Chestnut Meadow because we've finished everything. Alright. So to the Chestnut Meadow! Yay! Hmm. I'm going to start setting up the torches. All right. <laughs> I have a surprise for you, Hannah. Ah, daisies! <laughs> e, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Jenny, help me collect them. <gasps> you two are awesome. Hmm. Are the daisies all that fitting for Shiver Night, Hannah? Ah, hey. Trust me, okay? I know how to blend them so it looks super spooky. <laughs> okay. <gasps> wow. We got ghosts and we have pumpkins and we've got little tiny paper lanterns. Wow, the tree looks awesome! And we couldn't have done it without you, Ginny. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I don't see the daisies, but we'll just pretend they're there somewhere, I guess. Hmm. No, don't you dare snatch any of the niblets yet! Oh, Rita, Rita, are you getting in trouble? Come on, all those preparations made me hungry. Oh, Rita, you only watch me preparing the food. <laughs> exactly! Mm. Hey, Ginny, please help me. Hmm. I forgot about the second food thief. <laughs> so now mm -hmm. we have a some <laughs> places where the food has been set up. Do you smell that? Delicious, we? And it wouldn't be as delicious without your help. Thank you. Rita! <laughs> <clears throat> yes, Rita! <laughs> and alright, we got our third one. So the boys are working on some benches. Mm. Aha! That's one less broken bench to worry about. And they have some purple cushions and some red leaves on them. <laughs> yeah, maybe it'll stay fixed for at least an hour this time. <sighs> hmm. hmm. Maybe this should be here instead of there. Hey. Oh, and can you help me move this? Mm-hmm. Of course, my love. He is such a teddy bear. <laughs> hmm. Sam, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Uh, nothing. Hmm. Not a way to be settled, Sam. Hehehe. <laughs> 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 so now we have everything put out. Yay! <laughs> Thanks again for all your help, Jenny. Ah. Uh. This is going to be a great night. I can feel it, even though it's raining. <laughs> Sam's boxes are working. So, here we are. We've got... Oh, this torch isn't lighting up. Alright. So we can go to the Chestnut Meadow. Talk to Mayor Connor. Who is not at the meadow. Probably... Yes, he's back in the village. So... Here we are, we got the little food displays so people can get their buffet. And then there's plenty of places for everyone to sit with um, benches. And you know, everything's decorated. Isn't that nice? Alright. Let's go. Let's go! Oh. 
11 a.m. What a busy day, eh? But I always have a minute for you. All the preparations done? They are. I've helped everyone I could. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. Well then, when you're ready to join Shiver Knight, just head right to the Chestnut Meadow. And don't forget to have fun! Well, yes, that's kind of the point, isn't it? <laughs> to have fun. Alright, so let's go and look at, you know, what we've done again. <laughs> so Pike and Grunt are here. Everybody's here. Oh, Grandpa came. Wow, it looks amazing. <gasps> Shady. Mm -hmm. Remember Shiver Night when we were young, Matilda, says Grandpa. <laughs> we got into so much trouble. Hmm. Ooh, tell me one of those stories. <laughs> well, there was this one time. Yeah. It all started with a very stinky fish. <laughs> Do you like my potato cakes, mon ami? Oh. Obviously. <gasps> Would you like more? You can even help me prepare it. Mm -hmm. I'd love more. <laughs> but trust me, you don't want me anywhere near your kitchen, said Sam. Oh, uh, there's Mo. Is <laughs> And Jacob and his Ezra there. <gasps> Lydia, my dear, the chestnut tree looks wonderful, says Rita. <laughs> Indeed, you always outdo yourself, says Nathan. <gasps> oh, thank you. I just tried my best, says Lydia. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all for attending Shiver Night and working together so we could have a great time. Good night, everyone, and avoid the spooky corners on the way home. Ha <laughs> ha. I want to thank you again for helping everyone with the preparations. I have a few items here from the others and myself as a thank you. <laughs> I'm going home now, too. I hope no spooks are lying in wait for me. Ha <laughs> ha. So we get another spooky... Um... <laughs> another... Some more spooky... Spooky. We got a, another Shiver Night tree and another spooky um, cart full of eeriness and a jack o' lantern pile, which is all the way down here. I swear. Whee! Which is unfortunate that we can't put this jack o' lantern tower outside because it looks really cute outside. Okay, so I don't really think they put anything in the vendors that is spooky. Where am I? Oh, I think we have a problem here. <laughs> I think I've turned invisible. Oh, there we are. Okay. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything in the vendors to uh -huh. spooky. Spooky night. There's another you the, you can buy this which is um been looking for spooky decorations. You can find this rip by this rich scarecrow in the friendship. Uh, I use this clock with the house, with the Victorian decorations in the house, the spooky decorations. Um I don't think I don't think she's Hi. Spooky. Yes, right. So you can you can buy cinnamon here. So, mm -hmm. but she doesn't really have anything spooky. So what does what does Mcdell I want? Hi. She wants four fish. Gee. And Ooh. Oh dear. I keep asking for tree sap. 
like, no, you just, no, 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 no. <laughs> so, oh, yes, deliver the pears. Pears are one of the few things that... So if you get something with treats up, just get, get rid of it like that. There might be something spooky here you can buy, hey. um, at least in the, you might want to buy it, you know, something, maybe this, you might find this black fountain to be kind of spooky, and that's something you can make in your, your house, um, like I said, there's not really a lot of spooky things. I use these, I think, the garden lanterns, because they're kind of, kind of spooky looking. Those particular ones. This is a little tree stump. Small decoration spots. But, like I said, there's not really a lot of super spooky things. You can get... It's still ah. raining, isn't it? Um, yeah. Let's put out another spooky, eerie spooky. Oh, apples are ready to be harvested. That's good. We can we can put a spooky wheelbarrow up. Oh no, that's kind of far away from the pumpkin patch, isn't it? Oh, here we go. We can put it over here. Put on spunk. Scary. There we go. But you can't see it like that, so you need to turn it around so you can see the faces. And then we can put in. I got more jack o' lanterns, and I don't know if I actually have any spaces left to put stuff in. Like, you don't want to put something here, really, because it's right in front of the fridge door. And then, um, I believe the mushrooms came with the eco set, like this, this came, this lamp thing came with the eco set. So, it's unfortunate that you can't put the jack-o'-lanterns outside the house. It's just, you know, a little sad. I'm replacing my gramophone with the pumpkins. Anyway, so that is everything for Shiver Night. And I hope you had fun setting up Shiver Night with me. So I will take care, bless, stay safe out there. And I will see you in the next video.